Why does Ence Lukup give NXT O-Main, but Dig works fine? I don't see an exact answer for this elsewhere, so I'm going to be brave and ask here. I have a Linode and have set up a DNS a record for my host which I'll call a .wc.net. When I look it up using nslookup on a .wc.net, I get this kind of answer. However, from any other machine, nslookup gives the right result. Also, if I run dig on the host of .wc.net, My question is, why does nslookup.wc.net run on the host .wc.net itself uniquely fail to find the correct answer, when the same command run on other hosts succeeds, and dig at ns1.linode.com.wc.net on the host .wc.net itself fails. In this answer I am making an assumption, you created a new a record for the domain and started making queries immediately from other systems. Let's look at what you were really asking in each of your three examples. Example 1. You asked nslookup to find an A record for a .wc.net. You did not tell nslookup what name server to use to look that record up. The OS has some defaults and nslookup tells you that it's using a name server at 173.255.243.5 to attempt to look up. That lookup fails. Example 2. You asked nslookup on a different computer to look up a .wc.net again without telling nslookup what name server to use. This connection is using Google DNS at 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 by default. Personal rant Google DNS is fast, but I refuse to give Google more information about me than they need to know. Slash personal rant fully explaining authoritative slash non-authoritative answers etc. is really way beyond the scope of your question, but the fast answer is, the authoritative name servers are the name servers that you set the domain to use. In the case of WC.net at the time I'm posting this answer W.net's name servers are uns 2 ultransnet and uns one ultransnet and they would provide authoritative answers if you told Dig or NSLOOKUP to use either of those servers for the query. Example 3. You asked Dig to use the name server at ns1.lino.com to look up a .wc.net, and it found an A record and gave it to you. This time we got one additional piece of information TTL or time to live, which is set for 86,400 seconds or 24 hours. The significance of this is that the non-authoritative name servers that handle queries, and in all three examples you were using non-authoritative name servers for WC.net, will look in their own cache first to see if it already knows a non-expired answer to the question. If it does for speed and bandwidth reasons it will return the answer it has cached. TTL of 24 hours is saying if this cached record is less than 24 hours old then it is the answer, otherwise make a query to an upstream DNS server for a newer record. In modern times, this upstream query will often go directly to the authoritative name server, but it could end up with some other name server's cached answer again this is getting way beyond the scope of your question but the complication is it can extend the cache time if the name server is not properly configured to assume the remaining TTL in the upstream cache that responded. Conclusions Making a change to an existing A record will generally become available from all DNS servers worldwide in the next 86,400 seconds, 24 hours, if a more direct answer is needed look up the authoritative servers for the domain and make your nslookup or dig query using one of them. In advanced cases subdomains can actually have their own different than the main domain authoritative name servers, again though beyond the scope. What's my DNS.net is a tool that you can use to watch the propagation, or how fast your DNS change is occurring around the world. The green checks and red X's are showing various DNS servers answer, as compared to the authoritative answer. Remember that what's my DNS.net does not have every names ever in the world on its map, so even all green checks could mean there are still servers with a cached record. Using this tool you will discover new records propact or more across the internet more quickly. A changed record might take TTL seconds to be seen remotely. We have to say might because it may actually be more or less but probably less. Bottom line. Without making additional changes to the A record for a .w.net wait out the TTL of 24 hours and make your queries again. Most answers should be correct by then. Yes, the time,